Okay, so in this video, I will just give you a run through of what you need to do in the interview and how to um, go through the demo. So it has like two face holes for you and your student. So make sure you drag your video to those holes. They want, want to see that you know how to use the uh, functionalities of Palfish. So you will need to drag those videos um, and it's an introduction slide. There will be a hello song. So um, what I like to do is I like to go to the filters and choose the mic filter and it'll just have a little mic pop up here and you just sing, um, press play and you get to sing the song with them. So you go, hello teacher, hello friends. And after that, just do a quick introduction. So use your name tag. This is where it comes in handy because you can be like, hello, my name is teacher Ella. What's your name? And remember there actually won't be anyone on the other side, so you'll just have to like take a little pause. <laughs> um, so use a lot of TPR. Hello, my name is teacher Ella. What's your name? And then pretend that they just said a name and you want to correct them and make them use full sentences. So, for example, they said Kevin. So you say, Kevin, my name is Kevin. Good. Um, and if you want, you can... Um, do a little bit more, ask them how old they are and how they are, but um, this is just a trial demo, so um, chances are the kids are not that advanced and they actually won't know how to answer how old are you, so I'd probably just move on at this point. So this next slide could be like a little bit confusing just because there are no words on there, but um, usually this is just the intro slide. Um, in more advanced levels, they'll actually list you um, all the words that you'll be learning today, but um, I think because this is the really starter trial um, The kids can't read so it'll just be a bunch of photos um, You can do whatever you want in the slide to introduce the topic. So what I would do is get out your toy monkey and just be like monkey Monkey And then they'll repeat and then you just say Hello, monkey. Hello, monkey. Good. <laughs> um, and they'll just encourage them to say hello, monkey, um, which is just a little bit of introduction of what they will be doing today. And you can also circle the hello, monkey while you do that. Um, and this is actually also a really good place to introduce your reward system. So just say like, oh, Kevin when you do a good job you get ice cream ice cream yummy well they'll just get really excited so just stick it behind you because they like to see their progress along the way so make sure it's visible behind you Okay, and then you just move to the next slide. Okay, this slide's um, a bit of fun because there's a bit of singing and a bit of TBR. So just um, make sure you put on some sort of filter. Um, I just like to do the mic one for singing ones. Makes sense. Um, what you should do in this one is play the music and while that's playing, you point while they're saying the words. So the song will be like, what is this? It's a nose. And then you just point to your nose and then point to your mouth, and then point to your eyes. Um, and what they want you to do is play it again, and the second time, they want the kid to do it with you. So make sure you go like, show me your finger, let's point together. Um, and then they'll usually show their finger and then do what you do. Yeah, that's all you need to do, so you just have to do it twice. Okay, for this next slide, um, it, you actually have to read the TG on the bottom. So that is your teacher guidance. It will help you on what to say on the lesson. So for this one, there's actually a little script for you to read out. So this one is, Paul plays in the park. So you just circle Paul if you want, draw an arrow and be like, Paul plays in the park. He finds a 
piece of paper. Nose. 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 Yeah, so you just want to um, repeat it at least two times, maybe three times in um, slightly different voices in case the child rep responds to different, um, different tones. And yeah, after that, you just say, nose. And then um, it says, question one, point to your nose, please. So you just say, can you point to your nose? Point to your nose. And just keep doing that until they do it. Um, yeah, that's all you need to do for this first one. Okay, for this next bar, make sure you put on your dog AR. So this is where the AR comes in really handy because it really helps you. It keeps the kids really excited. Um, so put on your dog ears and you just say, here comes a dog. And just like act like a dog because you got dog ears on, so be a dog. Ruff, 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 ruff. <laughs> the dog is sniffing paper. <laughs> just introduce this word to them because they may not have ever seen it. So say, dog. 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 Good job! So, now they know the word dog. And you say, hmm, the dog is sniffing the paper. <laughs> and then they'll maybe copy you or not. <laughs> um, and then question one says, circle the dog's nose. So, so just um, get out your finger and say, <gasps> Can you circle the dog's nose? And you'll be a dog, so you have a dog's nose. So circle the dog's nose. Circle the dog's nose. They still don't get it. Say circle, circle the dog's nose. And they usually get it after that. If not, just do it and then get them to do it. Um, and then question two says, let's act. Let's, can you sniff like a dog? So just be like, oh, can you sniff uh, like a dog? <laughs> Hopefully they copy you. If not, you'll just look like a fool. <laughs> now it's time for the eyes. So you read the script again. Huh. Paul finds another piece of paper. Hmm. <laughs> Eyes. 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 Yeah, good job. Point to your eyes. Can you point to your eyes? Yeah, good job. And don't forget to reward them like five times throughout the lesson. So to be like, good job, you get an ice cream. Yummy. Ice cream. Um, yeah, and you just build up your ice cream scoop throughout the lesson, so. Okay, um, the same as the dog one before, just put on the cat filter, because now you are a cat. So, you read the script. Here comes a cat. <gasps> cat. 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 Good job. And then just act like a cat a little bit, because you want to have fun with it. Just go, meow. Meow. And it wants you to learn. Hello, cat. Hello, cat. Good job. 
stuff. Um, question one says, can you circle the cat's eyes? So just get them to circle, circle the cat's eyes. Circle, circle, circle. Hopefully they get it. <laughs> And then the second question is, let's act. Can you wink? <laughs> Can you wink one eye like the cat? Can I just be like, wink, I wink. Right. This slide is pretty much the same as the other two slides, except with a mouth. So pick up another piece of paper. <gasps> wow, Paul finds a mouth. A mouth um, and they actually want you to correct them so um, I think with this one mouth is actually really difficult for them to say just because of that th sound so um, just pretend that they say it wrong to say th th good mouth <laughs> mouth Yay! Good job! And then, can you point to your mouth? Point to your mouth. Okay, next one. Here comes a fish. Put on your fish AR. Um, it's pretty cool because it has bubbles everywhere, so just act like a fish. comes a fish fish good job can you circle the fish's mouth circle circle the fish's mouth great job and then it says, let's blow bubbles like a fish. So you just act like a fish. And then they usually follow you because it's a lot of fun. <laughs> this one has a lot of TG. Um, Paul puts the piece of paper, three pieces of paper together. Look, what's on the paper? A monkey. Let's say hello to it. Um, usually I find that this is actually like way too many words for these kids. So I just say, oh, oh look. A monkey! 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 Great job! Monkey! Can you say, hello, monkey? Hello, monkey. Good. Hello, Kevin. <laughs> Good job. You can have another ice cream. <laughs> Yummy. Uh, just remember to like really overreact when they do a good job or when they get an answer right because um, they'll just keep them motivated and get them really excited about keeping going. Uh, this next slide is the clapping. This is good because some kids learn differently and um, clapping actually helps them with the sound. So you go, show me your hands. So that they know they're about to be um, participating in something or using their hands with something. But say, show me your hands. Then they'll show their hands and then go say eyes good job mouth yeah nose yeah good job monkey good job now is um, a great chance for us to be able to see how the palfish slides actually work. So this one is a cool game where you just click around or you get them to click around. So 
it says, now it's time to play a game, yeah! And then the arrow will show you what you want them to find. So I think the first one might be monkey or something. Um, so you say, can you find a monkey? Monkey? And if they don't know what you're talking about, just say, monkey? Monkey? And sometimes they don't actually know that they can click on it. So to encourage them to click on the screen, you can do one. So say, oh, I found a monkey. Click. And then they will know to find the other monkey. So you just keep doing that for the other ones. Can you find eyes? <laughs> and then they'll find the eyes, etc., etc. Okay, so in the slide, you're gonna get them to want to circle a lot of things. So this is actually really tricky. Um, so <laughs> let's start out with some eyes, I guess. Say, can you circle the eyes? Circle the eyes? And then maybe they'll circle um, the monkey's eyes and then just be like, one, two, three, four eyes. One, two, three, four eyes. And then maybe just circle another one for them and then they will um, circle that one and then hopefully understand to circle more. <laughs> so same goes with mouth. Say, can you circle mouth? Hmm. And then after they do one, just be like, hmm, one, two, three, four mouths. One, two, three, four mouths. So yeah, you just keep doing that for all the body parts. And then... Oh yeah. And then this next one's really fun because it's a game. So let's spin drag their video onto the face so that their face is in the middle of the lesson and then just say can you press spin boop boop and they'll do it if not then you do it <laughs> um for the demo you'll probably have to do it because there's no one on the other side so just press it and then it'll land on something and you say What is it? What is it? Um, hopefully they answer. If not, just guide them towards it. <laughs> Cat. Cat. Good. Hello, Cat. Hello, cat! <coughs> Good job! So you just keep doing that for the rest of the animals. Next slide's um, pretty fun. You just have to drag your video in the middle of the lesson and you use TPR to ask them what it is. So, what are they? What are they? And then usually they'll circle it, but you want them to say it. So even if they circle eyes, um, you just say, eyes. Eyes. Good job. And then you do it for nose and mouth. Okay, so this next one's pretty fun. Um, they always love a chance to draw on the screen. So maybe get them to do it or... Um, I think in the demo, you're actually supposed to do it. So it says, it's a drawing time. Oh. Get out a pen or a crayon and be like, drawing, yay. And then um, I'll just quickly draw some eyes and say, hmm, what, what is it? What is it? And then they'll say eyes, if not, Say, what? What is it? Eyes. Eyes. 
great job. I sometimes like to mix it up a bit and get them to draw. So I'm like, can you draw a nose? And then they'll do it. And it's a lot of fun for them. And that's it. So now we're in the review slide. Um, depending on what level the child is, you might just have to read through it or you get them to do it. But you just say, today we learned nose, mouth, eyes, and so on. Um, this is also a really good chance to say, wow, good job. You did a good job today. And you want to have like a smooth transition to the end. So just say, today you got one, two, three, four ice creams. Yeah. Say high five. High five. Um, just really congratulate them because they'll get really excited and it's a great way to end the lesson, so. Okay, so we're on the last slide. This is the end. So you just have to drag your face and their face into the little circles. Um, I like to play the little guitar on my AR and just say, I think it's a goodbye song. So just play the song and sing along while playing the guitar. Um, and then just say your farewell, say thank you. Um, so that's the end of your lesson. Uh, make sure you pace yourself and don't finish before 25 minutes. Make sure the timer says top for um, 25 or up and you can then exit and that will finish your recording and it will send it to them. So yeah, that was just a quick walkthrough of the demo. Make sure you read through the TG, use your props, use the AR filters and reward the students throughout the lesson. Also, make sure you check out the rubric that they use to grade you against. Um, I put it up on the site just below this video, so make sure you check it out so you know what exactly they're looking for. Good luck!